Hey, what it do, y'all? It's your big dog, Thump. You tuning into another installment of Thump Talks. Tonight, we got the boy Crip Mac versus Lily Cakes. And if y'all ain't familiar with Lily Cakes and who she is, that's the female that Crip Mac been dealing with ever since he got out of jail. She exposing the shit out of Crip Mac right now. But I'm going to tell y'all this. And if Lily Cakes, if you come across this video, just know this. When you take time out your day to expose somebody that you was close with in a personal relationship, you not only expose them, you also expose yourself in the midst of that. Wag 100, once again, you know, he's, he's, uh, he's using the art of war. You feel me? For those of you who don't know, man, it's divide and conquer. You feel me? It's a divide and conquer tactic that uh, Wack 100 likes to use. You know what I'm saying? He's seen the window. He's seen the opening. And, uh, you know, he went for it. So a guy like Wack, all he needs is a little bit of daylight. And he patient. You feel me? He's a patient man. You feel me? You know, so anybody who studies the art of war, the 48 laws of power, you know, things of that nature, man, you know, you, you learn something about war tactics, you feel me, and how to manipulate people. Uh, I'm not going to give away all the secrets, man, you know what I'm saying? So y'all go do your own due diligence, man, you feel me? The information's out there. I can't hoard it, you feel me? So y'all go do your own due diligence on that. But I'm telling you the tactics that he's using, you feel me? How he's able to maneuver and do the things that he do. But anyway, um, so Lily Cakes exposed Crip Mac. She says the man don't take showers. Uh, he jerks off to her ass. Uh, uh, Lily Cake says she bends over and Crip Mac sits in the chair away from the bed and, you know, and uh, chokes his chicken, you feel me, while she bent over, you know. But let's get back to the not taking showers part, Lily Cakes. I don't know if you heard this, but while you was in that room, like I said before, when you expose somebody, you in return expose yourself. So this is a prime example of it. Back off on yourself. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Like, you let a dirty you mean definitely mouth on your pussy. Now I don't think Lily Cakes heard that, right? But let's run it back. Uh -huh. I'm just like, how long yeah, like, you let him just jack off on himself. You definitely jack off on himself. You let a dirty little bitch put his funky mouth on your pussy. So, I don't know the female's name in the background, whoever that was on stage talking. She said, "You so you let a dirty, you know what, put his funky, you know what, on you. Et cetera, et cetera. You get what I'm saying? So, she says, Crip Mac don't take showers, he a dirty dude. So you lay down with a dirty dude, Lily Cakes, please tell me you didn't do that. Please tell me you don't lay down with that dirty man. Oh, I know what you, you, you make him take a shower for y'all get busy. But regardless, right, this my thing. This is what, this, this what the morals and principles kick in. I don't want to deal with nobody I got to tell to do that. That should be already embedded in you. You know what I'm saying? So... If your ass ain't jumping in that water, man, we can't do no business like that. You feel me? So, like I said before, you expose Crip Mac, but you expose yourself. Lily Cakes, you got played, man. You know, Wack juiced you. He got all the info with you. Now he can ball your ass up, you know what I'm saying, and discard you, man, and throw you right in the trash, man. Wack set you up for the okie dope. He got all his minions, you know, the whacking nets to, to lean on you on that floor. It was leaning on you, uh, Lily Cakes. You know what I'm saying? So they leaned on you, you know, played the played the bait and hook switch, the banana in the tailpipe game with you. Yeah, Wack, Wack played you, though. Uh, Wack said he thought Lupe was the main broad and you was, you know, where you come from and all. They downplayed you. So it make you feel insecure about your position. So that will make you want to fight for the position that you played in Crip Max world. He made you fight for that. You feel me? He told you, Wack told you that, hey, you know, I thought, damn, I thought Lupe was the main broad. You know, he tried to marry you. So that puts insecurity in your mind. 
So now you got to defend that. Now you now, now now you about to open up. Now you about to open up the book. You feel me? You about to open up the book and spill it. You feel you feel you finna you finna you finna fill that cup up with the tea and just dump it all out. You feel me? You know. But see, if you ain't if you ain't a mastermind, you feel me? You ain't gonna understand that type of shit though, Lily. I heard you try to you know you tried to you know to restrain yourself from 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 letting it all out, but they kept poking at you and leaning on you and you just let it all go. Now, I ain't saying you let it all go, but you let enough go. You feel me? If you if, if this was a hundred round drum, you let fifty of it go. You feel me? I don't know how much more that you that you got. You feel me? You know you said a lot of things. So you know for those of you who want to hear that, it's all over the net. Just type in Lily Cakes. You know what I'm saying? Lily Cakes versus Crip Mac or Crip Mac versus Lily Cakes. However you want to put it in the order, or whatever. But uh, you know, this, this is interesting. You know what I'm saying to me because I like Crip Mac. You feel me? I, I know what he is. I know he's a character. You know, I know he, I know Crip Mac is a character. You feel me? I know he got mental issues too as well. Also, she said my boy C Mac is scared to come outside, man. Lily Cake said my boy Crip Mac is scared to come outside, man. She said my boy is a hermit in the house, man. You know. He go do his he go do his no jumpers and he go do his his Vlad TVs and all that and then he go back home. You know what I'm saying? Lily Cake said Crip Mac scared to take out the garbage. <laughs> she said the man don't go in no store to get no OE. She go she door dash the old OE. You know, Uber Eat, Uber Eats, all that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? So she said, my man Crip Mac scared of the boogie man. You feel me? He trying to say big old Crip Mac scared of the boogie man. You feel me? But uh, you know, she said a whole list of shit, y'all. You feel me? So if y'all into that shit, you know what I'm saying? Just type in Clubhouse shenanigans or go on Lily Cake's YouTube page, man. You know, y'all can get the whole gist of it. From my vantage point, you know what I'm saying, you know, this thing this thing can get messy, cause not only did she talk about her and Crip Mac business. You know, which which Crip Mac should have never been pillow talking. This is her words now. This is Lily Cake's words. He was paying her to, to stay there and lay with her and all that and do, you know, whatever they was doing. She said Crip Mac be talking about his homies and they broke and they. She said Crip Mac used the hard e odd and n word when he mad with black folks and all that. Lily Cake's putting out a lot of inflammatory statements on Crip Mac, man. So you know. I wonder if people gonna, you know, gonna hold court about that. You feel me? You know, Crip Mac already got DP, man, for running his mouth. So hopefully, man, you know, that don't happen again. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? You know, you find out all the bad shit when people, you know, split up or they're not friends no more. They're not boyfriend and girlfriend or husband and wife. That's when all the bad shit come out. So you take it, you take, you take it with a grain of salt in a situation like this. A person will tell you all the bad shit somebody said about you when they're not friends no more because they mad with the person. So you take that shit with a grain of salt, you feel me? Because they was probably in cahoots the whole time. They was both talking about you. So she saying Crip Mac was talking about his managers, uh, you know, talking about Lupe, talking about the dude 600 that was training them to box. Talking about uh, ODM Slim, you know, and the list goes on, you feel me? And a couple of other guys that, uh, you know, I know nothing about. They probably some factors where they from, you feel me? And uh, could probably do some damage to Crip Mac, for all I know. But it ain't good, though. So y'all just stay tuned, man. You know, it's a big dog thump, and I'm gone.